Bill Maher. That was an interesting oh. podcast. You guys have a chance to. Uh, yes, I he watched, watched it twice. It twice. So tell on, me about it. You watched it twice. Media yeah. Tell me about it. Not once, twice. So, um, you said guess how guess how much I spoke versus he spoke before we even saw the yeah the interview. And I was like, I don't know. You probably spoke more. You're the one being interviewed. He probably spoke eighty percent of the time at minimum. Fair number or no? A guy tweeted saying. Bill spoke 80. I think the top comment was Bill spoke 87% of the time. 87%. Yeah. When he's doing the interview. So the 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 interview has 15,000 comments, you said at this point? Something like that, yeah. Insane. Um, the, I think the, the credit goes to you, PBD. What was that? Keep going. Okay. The credit goes to you for just, this was you the whole time. <laughs> The, the Gavin Newsom thing was interesting. How he says, what do you say, Vinny? Well, well, I, I, but, but, I love but look, Gavin I, I did, Newsom. I did the Tom. I actually wrote. So yeah. first of all. So the, 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 the poking when you're like, so, you know, because Democrats love data. They're data driven. Yeah. Data, statistics. No, it, they love it. They it, love it. It showed me. First of all, it, that love interview, it. you exposed how you exposed him. Okay. Without his writers, Pat, without his liberal audience in, in the, you know. And what's the show? Real time with Bill Maher. Yep. He's when, that are told when to applaud and when to. This is a moment where you got to find out who he was as a individual by himself with nobody else helping him out. And here's my thing: anyone that could utter the phrase "I love Gavin Newsom" with a straight face and be and, and be honest with themselves loses all credibility when it comes to anything political. I don't want to hear any of that. Okay, and not be his wife. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and he goes because what you said: you're a results driven guy. Uh, why because he, he said Democrats are more uh, data uh, detail driven, and you notice how when you were like, okay, give me the fact, you know, okay, yeah. okay, uh, he there's there's zero okay. answer for why you're going to vote. It's it's the anything but Trump attitude. And then regarding his abysmal way, uh, Newsom has run Cali to the ground. This is you know why he loves him too. Adam, but besides the you know slick hair, which he kind of got my style. Uh, <laughs> nothing that's happening in California really affects Bill Maher. Think about it. He's filthy rich, so he doesn't care, Tom, about the 60% in taxes or the record high gas prices because he can afford it. It's a cover <clears> chart <throat> he can pay. Yeah, think about this, Tom. He doesn't care about the high crime in Cali, Pat, because he lives in a safe area that probably has gates and security with guns. He doesn't care that California's – he doesn't have any kids, so he doesn't care that the California education system is so bad that two out of three Californian students – Failed to meet the math standards, and more than half didn't meet the uh, state's English standards. Thank you. He doesn't have kids. Nothing that affects the average person bothers him. So he's just like, yeah, that smug, arrogant attitude. And you, you, I think you nailed it because you stayed calm. You stay, and facts always win. And when somebody can't give you answers or back up their claim, you made him look ridiculous. And that's why 15,000 people are still commenting right now because you couldn't, by the way, amazing socks, PBD, just throwing that out there. But when you say, give me an answer why you love him. And he goes, oh, okay. Huh? okay. There's no answer. Why? why? You're voting for him because he's not Trump. Maybe play that's this it. clip, Rob. Just play this clip on the exchange with uh, uh, on Newsom. Yeah. Do you like Newsom? How do you feel about Newsom? Had him on my show Friday. I saw that. And... Uh, I, I, first of all, I love him. Just, you <laughs> just like him. a guy or you don't. I've known him for a long time. He's done my show for a long time. Do, do I love everything he does as the governor of California? No, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm undertaxed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's this, I have issues with this state. He's a guy, one reason I want him to run for president, well, is because he's obviously Look, he a winner. This guy could fucking do it. It's insane that we have the guy, but we can't run him because we have to winner. tiptoe around to Biden win. and to find a winner. I love that. Well, he would win the election. Oh, so so he would win the election. So he's a talented debater, speaker, communicator, yeah, deflector, and, and politician. And he's right. a smart guy. He's right. he's a smart, real guy with a pair of balls. Do I love everything? No. You never knew do with a politician. But first of all, I think if he ran for president, it'd be great because it would force him to move to the center. Now you're what? running not just in California. Yeah. I mean, this is well, California. It's weird. Are, are well. you are you a are you a it's weird uh, in world? Are you a results driven guy? I love this. No, I like to think, watch things yeah. fall apart. I mean, of course, you, you wouldn't build a show that you win, build and win at the levels you won, you know, for decades if you weren't results driven, right? I mean, you're, you're, you're Bill Maher, you know. What, I, what about, what do you mean, what's the point about so results exactly driven? exactly where I'm going with you. So results, so results driven yeah. guy. Right. What areas has Newsom won in? You said he's a winner. 
winner of the election. He could win the election. But based on what, though, do you want results? Like, what has he done to California to say he's a winner? What, what, oh, uh, God. Uh, I don't know. I, it's too. <laughs> he doesn't know. You're a you know the you know metaphor what? He made here. it rain, okay, dude? He made it, it, okay, it you can pause on right yeah. there, by the way. Now, do me a favor, go to Twitter, exactly what I just said. I, I actually wanted to know because it, there's no way in the world you've ran a state and you don't have victories, right? Let our big victories. So I put on Twitter, serious requests. Could someone list three things Newsom did to improve the state of California? I'm curious. And if you go to the bottom and you go through comment section, this thing, you know, the worst got, I don't know how many comments, right? Look at that improve one right the there. Sales rate. <laughs> improve the sales for you all. That's leave. Pagan's looking glass. Improve the rate. It relies on government funding. Improve the amount of money the IRS receives before you haul. Keep going to the next one. Keep going to the next one. There's a bunch of different comments there. Obviously, that's one with DeSantis with, DeSantis with fetus, which he was showing. Go up a little bit on DeSantis one. Yeah, the poop maps. Uh, go a little bit higher, Rob. Yeah, where it says uh, human feces reports are booming in uh, <laughs> California. Anyways, so, so the, point, the point here becomes it's purely data. You know, it's purely data on what's going on. And I could, nobody could list anything about what the guy's done data-wise. You can like somebody. My, for, for instance, imagine if Newsom was your cousin. My cousin. If he's your cousin. Imagine if Newsom was somebody you went to high school with. Maybe somebody you played football with. And maybe he was a guy that actually blocked for you. And you were a receiver or he was a tight end. And you actually, he actually, he protected you, right? Maybe you have some kind of affinity to the guy. And there's some kind of loyalty okay. because there's a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Fine. I get defending because you are friends. Mm -hmm. Cool. But at the end of the day, data is data. 100%. Okay, there is, there is nothing one can say on why the number one state that's lost the most customers ever is Newsom. You know how he says, and he, this is his famous line. He says... Well, you know, California is, uh, the, the, you know, California is the fifth largest economy in the world. And, you know, California is the, the same as the equi uh, equivalent of 21 states combined. And that's what California. OK, great. You know what he sounds like? You know, the Vanderbilts, he was the richest man in the world. OK, you know, his kids were the snobbiest, sloppiest, you know, you want to call them a, a spoiled kids that wasted the money. Mm -hmm. So you can still be rich, but you lost a lot of your daddy's money. Mm -hmm. Newsom is that billionaire son whose dad used to be worth $40 billion after he died. Now the son is worth $17 billion, but he says, I'm still one of the richest man in the world at yeah. 17. Yeah, but you lost your dad's $23 billion. You lost customers that left your state. There is no other way. There has to be a way to judge somebody's record, right? There has to be, like in sports, mm -hmm. how do they judge a big man? I saw a debate between uh, uh, somebody on ESPN with Stephen A. Smith. How do you judge a, a great center? Based on what? But, but center, it comes to rings, yeah. right? How do you judge a great podcaster? Based on what? Views. Views. Views on what? Eyeballs. Subscribership, Subscribers. eyeballs, influence. Yeah. How do you judge a great singer? You know, uh, hits, their hits, baby, their hits, hits, and what else you judge? Hits, album it, listen, sold. Listen, you can say whatever you want about Taylor Swift. We can sit and bitch about the fact that she's going to, you know, endorse Biden, which she will. And guess what? It's going to help. Yes. Why, though? Because she's got hits. You can hate Taylor Swift all you want. She made $5 billion from her music last year because she's got data and stats and customers willing to go. Show. I couldn't name you one of her songs. Not one of her songs could I name. But guess what she has? She has stats, right? Mm -hmm. No matter how much we say, even about people you don't like, if they have data, you have to be quiet. I'm not a LeBron fan. Guess what? You know what the data backs up? That he's the second greatest player of all time. You have to give him that, uh, that credit. He is not my favorite guy to watch ever. Yeah. But he's the second greatest basketball player of all time. Yeah. Why? Based on what? Based on stats. stats. There's yeah. nothing debating that. So when you say Newsom is a winner and you can't name stats, that's when I'm like, I don't know where this discussion is going to go. I so love the. I um, flipped it and I started interviewing instead of you know being a guest on the show. I love the Vanderbilt reference because you run a sales organization. You've, yes. you've licensed how many agents in your day? PBD? 50 plus thousand. 50,000 freaking agents. But the top guys. You know, the 1% of PHP, for example, um, you're talking about data. You're talking about uh, results-driven approach. I'm sure you have a guy in the organization that's like, dude, remember Pat? 
in 2019 when I was the number one guy, and I, this is what I've done. But where are you at in 2024? Yeah, of course. Where are you at in 2024? Yep. yep. The old what have you done for me lately approach. The reason that LeBron, to use his name again, still has credibility, this guy's still putting There's up no numbers. There's no question about that. He's yeah. still yeah. putting up numbers. He got um, nominated or uh, vote counting, 20th All-Star game ever, broke the record, right? Yep. LeBron, whether you disagree with him or not, he's still putting up results. The, the Gavin Newsom thing, I think why the Vanderbilt uh, metaphor is so appropriate, it's like he's still clinging to the talking points of how great California was slash still is GDP wise. But if you go through those comments, how many people were able to put together a three point cohesive statement of what Gavin Newsom has done? This is the age old conversation we've had personality over politics. I'm happy you said that. Ron DeSantis destroyed Gavin Newsom with facts and data in a debate yet, yet, Gavin Newsom still won that freaking debate. 100%. Because politics is entertainment at this point. Yep. You have to win the crowd, as they say in Gladiator, and, but, and the crowd ain't looking at the that, data. But isn't that, doesn't that, isn't that kind of, not scary, it's kind of dumb if you ask me. Like somebody like a Bill Maher that's just like, he'd 100% vote for Gavin with zero stats, horrible track record. Without but you know what, Adam, you know why? Because it's not Trump. It's that is at the end of the day, they would rather have somebody that's going to screw them over, but he's not this guy. And that's where the Trump deranged. You ever seen the movie is. Original Sin? Oh, damn. When with I, Angelina Jolie and yeah, Antonio long, Banderas? I mean, oh my God, a long time ago. Okay, so what's the issue God. with that movie? What is the issue? What is the premise of that movie? Antonio cannot leave her because her spell has gotten him. Mm -hmm. He lost everything, right? She destroyed his life, but he is obsessed yeah. with her, right? Sometimes you can be obsessed with somebody that can destroy your life um, hmm. because they are attractive and they're smooth and they're good. Every man's fallen for this before. Every woman has fallen for this before. If you haven't fallen for it before, maybe because the market is not interested. In them, <laughs> but odds are yeah. you have fallen for this before. Yeah. Who was it and that compared California to their ex-girlfriend? Was it Mike? Mallet? Mike, Mike Mel. He's yeah. like, it's like that ex-girlfriend yeah. that you just can't that's, get over. She's horrible for you. It's a great analogy. She's ruining your life, but you just can't yeah. look, look away. Got that good, good. Yeah. She got that good, good. The, the last word she in got Gavin the Newsom is... In the, mountains. the last word in Gavin Newsom is, you got to remember, perception and position are the, is the realm of the politician. And that's all he needs to do. He's got the perception. And that is exactly what Bill Maher was talking about. He's a winner. He's a perception of a winner. He's running for president, which is dangerous because you run on perception and position. He's not running for CEO, which is on results and stats. If he's running for CEO, Ron DeSantis would be leading by 40 points to be president right now. But it's perception and perception, which makes it very dangerous, which is why it's important to be an informed voter and to understand where you're putting your vote and what you're doing. Because there's consequences, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And Gavin Newsom has never won a competitive election in his life. You take a look at the elections that he's been in and the position that he's taken, becoming mayor of San Francisco and 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 how if if you win the Democrat primary as the mayor of San Francisco, you you could be the guy pooping on all the streets and you're still going to win the election <laughs> yeah. to be mayor. It's, yeah. it's, let's face it. If, if you've got the little blue D by your name, he has not won a competitive election because of the way that the populace in California has chosen to vote. And I, now the stakes are high because he could be on a national stage fantastic. and it's dangerous. Very insightful what you said. Perception and, and position. position. Mm -hmm. Perception and position. Beautiful. Fantastic insight on that. But I'm wearing a Future Looks Bright shirt. The, pur the pur purple and gold, the one that was a limited one that we did last week. And I'm wearing a purple and gold, uh, uh, what do you call it? These hats, yeah, yeah. right? I'm wearing these. I think we have like 30 of these left. In honor of Kobe. In honor of Kobe, yes. And I'm wearing these, and everyone's, you know, future looks bright, future looks bright, future looks bright. Conversations, right, that are being started. Why is that? Because people don't believe the future looks bright today. It scares the crap out of them when they see somebody say future looks bright. So this is what we're doing today for anybody that purchases, any purchase you make today on the store with a minimum of a hat, you have to buy a hat. Obviously, if you do an order over 70 bucks, shipping is on us. But anything you order with the hat that says future looks bright, we have a lot of different colors, the blacks, the military, the white, the red, you pick and choose. 
you can even do these. But any orders you make today, we're going to do a raffle, okay? And on the Thursday podcast, we're going to announce two winners that are going to get a ticket to go to the Vault Conference. It's a $750 ticket to go to the Vault Conference on the house because we want you to spend three days with us in Palm Beach at the Vault Convention Center. We'll be at the Palm Beach Convention Center to make 2025 the beginning of the greatest years of your life. And when you're around the value team and audience, they're just like you. If you follow this content, you're like, I follow this content for this reason. Imagine being in a room with 10,000 other people that believe the future looks bright. So again, Rob, put a link below for anybody who goes and places the order. By the way, I even think we have a, uh, a campaign going right now that if you buy a hat, you get a second one for free. Uh, and again, if you order $70 plus, we're sending, uh, the shipping and handling will be on the house. Again, a million people I want wearing this worldwide, confusing the hell out of everybody that thinks the future looks bleak. I want it to be future looks bright to start a conversation because that's what this brand represents, Vaitamin, that the future looks bright. There's the link right there for you. Buy one, get one free, end of those hats. And uh, once again, on Thursday, we'll announce two winners going to the vault with us. Love it. To spend three days with us. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, Click right here.